What's going on everybody? So today I wanted to show you guys just how exactly I turned my little John boat into the ultimate bow fishing boat. So behind me here is my boat. It is a Grizzly Tracker 1648. It has a 25 horsepower Mercury on the back. And up front it has a Minn Kota Maxim 65 pound for us 24 volt trolling motor. So just a couple things about the boat. It's 2015 and when I bought the boat I, I wanted it to be able to be converted back and forth from a boat fishing boat to a normal boat for when I'm bass fishing because I didn't want to have a platform on the boat at all times. So I came up with a system, uh, luckily enough my boat kind of helped me out by dumb luck on how I can mount lights and stuff to this and that's what we're going to go through today. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do all that and how I convert the boat into a bow fishing boat. So in this tub right here I have everything that I need to put onto the boat here to convert it into my bow fishing boat. The Grizzly trackers come with this track system that essentially carriage bolts can go into and you can attach stuff that goes all the way down both sides of the boat and that's what allows me to have to make this boat uh, be convertible as easy as what it is it's fairly easy it only takes me about half an hour to get everything on um, I'm gonna show you guys that right now so cue the time-lapse installed now starting to look like a bow fishing boat now all we have to do is run all those extension cords and those dongles to the generator sides of the boat and yes I know this is a mess trust me I know so I'm gonna start the lights up for you guys and I'll, uh, I'll let you guys see the, the power of the lights uh, these guys here are 50 waters that one's a hundred this big daddy here 300 watts of light come out of that bad boy and the great thing about having this track system is is that nothing is permanent not a damn thing on this is permanent if i can take this off whenever i want and change it out if i want to have all the lights on one side of the boat i can do that if i want to have them spread out two in the front two in the middle two in the back i can do that this is like the ultimate uh adjustment like i we adjust it on the fly i do it all the time if uh if we need more light up front we slide everything up if we need want to spread it out we spread everything out so I'm gonna start this generator up for you guys real quick oh. and there's light yeah obviously I know it's not that bright. That one's bright. That one's kind of bright. It doesn't look real bright, but you guys have seen my other bow fishing videos, so you guys know just how bright these darn lights are. It's amazing how well we can see at night. I'm going to turn this off. Yeah, I'm going to leave that off so you guys can hear me a little better. So, things I would change about the boat. I have a 
giant blind spot right here. Uh, I was a little worried about mounting another light here. Uh, just because I wasn't sure how it would react with the trolling motor being here. Uh, and it's it's not easy to get in here to bolt stuff fast. That one was a little bit easier because of the access panel that's there. Um, but yeah, that's one thing I would change. I definitely need a light here. And I know somebody's going to say it in the comments. Which by the, re which, by the way, I do see everyone's comments and I try to reply to everybody. So be sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, that mess right there. I know. This is a, a hazard waiting to happen. Um, it's a tripping hazard. I want to rewire them so that way I only have two extension cords that I can lay on these ledges here and then run them to the generator. And same on the other side, run it all the way across and then over to the generator. That's my plan for that, but that's going to take some time. And I'm not an, I'm definitely like not even close to an electrician. Uh, I barely scared to buy on this because some of these lights are from Europe and their wiring is totally different. They use different colors and I had a hard time figuring out how to wire up European lights to America color extension cord. So anybody who's ever bow fished on a boat like this knows that sometimes the trolling motors can be uh, a hassle when you're trying to get really really into in when you're trying to get into really shallow water um, it can be an issue because the trolling motor will only go so shallow right it's only going to go as shallow as this sits and as shallow as this, the shaft is but and this is my favorite thing that I've come up with to combat uh, being able to get into shallower water because this is like a 45 inch or 42 inch shaft that I got on this trolling motor. So to solve that problem, when we are getting into shallow water, Mr. 2x4 here it comes in, saves the day, because this is adjustable. See the trolling motor going down, going up? I can get into less than a foot of water when I have this guy deployed. It's a lifesaver. Uh, I try to keep two on the boat at all times just because sometimes they do fall off. And uh, they're not always easy to find. They get like sucked underneath the boat and they don't come out right away. So yeah, uh, I know it's not the most exciting video that uh, I've ever done or anything like that. Um, but it's something that I'm like incredibly proud of uh, coming up with all this. Uh, none of this was like ideas I got online. Uh, this was all stuff that... I came up with on my own, and uh, it's cool to do that. That's why uh, building your own bow fishing boat is so cool, is because there's no right or wrong way to do it. You can do it however you want, and what fits your needs might not fit somebody else's needs. Uh, this fits my needs perfectly because everything's removable, and I can adjust everything on the fly. Uh, the only thing that I can't adjust, and I'm okay with, is this guy right here this guy is permanently attached to the boat other than well the bracket is ter permanently attached to the boat i removed the light because i don't want to travel with these lights and risk breaking them um i keep them in my tote and i haven't knock on wood i haven't broken one yet so i just want to say thank you guys for tuning in again uh we just passed the 700 subscriber mark uh i can't thank you guys enough it really means the world to me. You guys are awesome. Yeah, you guys are great. I I can't express that enough. I wish I could do more for you guys. Um, but right now, I'm just going to keep pumping these videos out. You guys seem to be enjoying all the videos I'm making. So thank you so much. Please leave a like if you haven't already. And be sure, if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen any of my videos before, please subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. Till then, guys, I'll see you next time.